update. Are you guys ready for some update? I have some good stuff. Um, so the first update is Bridge went up to um, Humane, Ohio. Yay! Um, Bridge went up to Humane, Ohio. Her spay went awesome. So very happy about that. Um, everything went really well for there. Um, Pania update. She's doing amazing. She She's doing fine. So the dose of meds that we um, started her on last night and even today some um, have really been doing great for her. I'm very excited about that. Dr. Darcy said that she has chronic bronchitis and chronic sinusitis. <laughs> sounds such a weird word. Um, so um, it sounds like it can be pretty well controlled by meds, which is a good thing. I'm very excited about that. So we're going to get working on some new meds for her. And um, <laughs> oh, Walter Payton snores louder than Bonnie's. I don't know. That was pretty loud. Um, so she's actually doing good. She's much more restful. Everything's going good with her. Um, super duper excited with that. So the other good news is I have a couple updates for you. Uh-oh. I was naughty. Okay, a little naughty. So when I told you I took in five cats this weekend, I kind of fibbed a little bit because I couldn't get blood draw on one of the kitties. So we have a new kitty, a new kitty cat, kitty, kitty, kitty. Um, his name is Ghosty. I love it. His name's Ghosty. He is um, a white kitten. <laughs> I know. I can't stop myself. No, I, I need to. Megan, no. But they need help, and then I have to take them, and it makes me sad. Um, well, you can take those two I got. Oh, no. God, we're so full. We're so full to the brim. Where? Where? They're all in the back room. Oh, all right. I haven't been back there yet. <laughs> I know Dark wants a puppy. I'll work on that, too, one day. One day, I'm sure there will be a puppy that will show up, and it's needed. And I know I did. Oh, my gosh. I did fib a little. But um, I don't like to bring things to you in case... You know, I haven't tested it, and man, I tried so hard to get blood from this sweet boy, and I, it was the hardest blood draw I think I've ever done, and I've done them on tiny, tiny kittens. So, um, I finally, finally, finally got blood draw on it, um, on him. He's adorable. He's all solid black. I don't have my, my book work because I kind of ran over time and things just got a little crazy. But um, he's approximately a year, year and a half. Um, he's solid black, adorable. I would bring him up, but um, I'm sorry. I have my volume on because I'm waiting for another call. Um, I, I would bring him up, but he also went up to get neutered today. So he went and he is, uh, oh, he's super cute. Jem's already seen him. He's adorable. Actually, I think I have a picture. I'll show you a picture. He went up to get neutered today. And um, while that went well, I can't think of what the word is called. But he had, um, what is that word? It, it's basically where the one testicle has not dropped. So instead of just doing an easy, you know, quick neuter that's going to take no time at all. Thank you, Princess of Feral Cats. I love it. My best friend got me this. It's so getting old and ratty, but I love it. Um, but uh, he is doing awesome. So he had his, he had a, here he is. Okay, this is the worst picture because I was taking it off the grid, but I'm sorry. I was taking, I was stealing it off my, um, some other page that I had it on. So there's a grid overlay on it, but He's all black, bright green eyes. Um, he's got a little bit of a, like an upper respiratory infection, watery eyes. We're treating that. So um, he's doing awesome. So other than the, yeah, hide and seek him, I think is the technical term. Thank you, Sonia. Um, so they had to seek him and they found one, but he did have to, it was a little bit more intense than the normal, um, you know, just neuter for a boy, which is a very simple procedure. This one, they actually had to do, they had to go in like they would a female spay. So, oh, he's so handsome and so friendly. 
but uh, there's something up with his veins, man. His veins are like really deep or something. I don't know. It was, yeah, he's so cute. Um, I also do have one more update and it's hideous. It's just gross. Let me go get them. Meet Julius oh, with a little litter on his nose. Here's Julius. Can we get that litter bit off your nose? Boop. Oh, it's still on there, dear. <sighs> okay, so Julius is a little bit of a mess. He was found at our reservoir. Oh, so he has... Uh, he had a little bit of ear mites, not actually that bad, but can you tell by his eyes, he's got an upper respiratory infection. Um, he's got fleas. Well, he doesn't have any more. Um, and he's got lice. So he does have lice. Don't worry, people can't get lice. It's only, it's cat specific. So, or species specific, I should say. So there is little Julius looking how cute. Oh, so look at the interesting thing about Julius. Hi, Julius. He's got ear tufts in front of his ears. Oh, <laughs> you're falling out of the blankie. You're falling out of the blankie. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to wrap you up. Look at the ear tufts that are in front of the ears. Aren't they funny? I, I don't think I've seen that before. So, <laughs> yeah, so he's been here um, two days and he's already, he's been tested today. Um, of course, negative, which is good. Um, I'm going to actually run him back just because he does have lice. I don't want to share it around to anyone. Hence, I've got him bundled up. But look at how cute he is. Look at the tufts, the ear tufts. Tufty, tufts, tufts. Oh, he's seeing himself. Do you see yourself? Hi, baby. So, um, he's approximately, I'll look on my chart again, but I think he's three weeks old. So, yeah. he's also just a tiny, tiny, tiny baby. Tiny baby. So, let me put him back, and then I'll be right back up for more, more updates. Oh, he's a little, little. Oh, he just admiring himself in the mirror. I noticed the mirror. Oh, yeah. I the cat all they are happy. Hi. Okay. Sorry. Had to wash up. Um So, yeah, cute, huh? Um, yeah, we, we are, we definitely are full, full to the brim, but we're, um, we're doing, we're, we're getting it. So, on the upside, I, it's hard to turn away these kittens. So, yes, he can be treated for lice. Um, he is absolutely precious. So, he's already being treated for lice. You treat, treat him, um one day and then you treat him another day so he's already being treated for that so that's good um rory i have an update on rory 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 um <laughs> dr darcy is texting me right now i'm not surprised so um she's wild um dr darcy is saying that Rory can come home 
tomorrow morning. Uh, she's going to be on some meds, some pain, some antibiotics. Um, let's see here. But it looks like all went well. Um, <laughs> she does have to have an e-collar on because she tries to chew the incision. Does that surprise you at all? <laughs> Does that surprise you at all? She is such a wild baby. Um, we actually have a few on hold, but I nothing definite. Um, nothing. I don't have anything 100%. So I've got quite a few in the works. But I will let you guys know as soon as I know positive, positive. So... Yeah, everything, everything, oh, Rory, she's such a wild animal. <laughs> she is just, she is going to make someone just the happiest thing. So, she is so funny. Um, yeah, her surgery went good. You know, just normal. Everything went well. Um, they're just keeping her overnight, really, because Dr. Darcy couldn't get to her until very, very late in the day. So, um once they uh got her you know then we can I, I think i do actually have the round inflatable cones i will look for sure i like those better than the or the round inflatable things instead of the cones because i feel like cones are hard to eat um and then even if, with her incision if you flipped it backwards it might be might be too much hey. on her suture no. so Oh, I know. She's going to be a wild one. I just know it. <laughs> so, so yeah. So, I think that's all the updates. It's a lot of updates. But I need you all to just come and adopt one cat. And then I can take in that many more. So, it's really hard. That's, I think, the, probably one of the hardest things I've had to struggle with is, uh, I'll tell you, Karen. Rory, I think, is... Uh, Oh, real quick on the new baby. The new baby, this is date of birth, is 5-21-22, and that baby is Julius. Um, anyone on hold? Kind of yes, Nance, but nothing in particular. I have someone very interested in Rory, Spring, Monty, and Winter. Spring, Monty, and Winter, and a couple people interested in Freya. So we've got quite quite a few on holds, but nothing. Uh, and Debbie, I think, is on is under consideration as well. So I'm just waiting for all of them to say yes and um, come pick them up. So hopefully very soon. So yeah. Um, so the the new baby, whose name is Julius, he was born on 5:21. Someone asked how old Rory is. R O R Y. Rory <clears throat> is two months and 15 days. Her date of birth is March 25th, 22. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Debbie Cat. <laughs> I don't think we could part with Debbie Human. Although it's going to be hard parting with Debbie Cat, too. Sweet Escape, you just come right over and Dagda and Julius are yours. I know, isn't Julius so cute? Oh, that was your submission. Oh, I love it. Oh, good. I really try. I, I had someone mention the other day, they're like, you're picking names that have already been used, like Rory, um, Marco, um... And, and, and I do know that. I see it on the, the list that they've already been used. But I really try to look at them and see what they look like. You know, um, you know, I don't want Julius to you know, name him Farfanugan because he doesn't look like a Farfanugan. He looks very regal, like a Julius. So, <laughs> yeah, I like that, Sonia. Um... Well, that's very true. Lord Rathbone actually did adopt Debbie. Yara, come on. Um, Rory is definitely a baby. Yeah, for sure. Um, 
Oh, Norma, you come right over. Take five kitties. That would be great. Sweet escape, please. Come on over. I See, thank you. Doesn't it, See, I'm trying to pick names that look like the cats. And Rathbone really looks like a Rathbone to me. So, yeah, I'm trying to pick them. Rory, um, and I had someone mention that Rory's a boy name. But I picked Rory because she was spicy, like Rory from the Gilmore Girls, if you've ever seen the Gilmore Girls. Did I get any sleep or rest? No. <laughs> I didn't. I have not gotten any sleep or rest. And I worked my other job today, too, so. Um, I, coffee. <laughs> coffee gets me going. So, yeah, I think girl, to me, Rory's a girl name, but I could see it as a boy. So... Oh, Debbie's over there looking in the mirror. Yes. Hey. Um. Egypt. I am. I run on caffeine completely. So. Yes. Oh, and there is a call I I need to be on. So. Yeah. All right. Well, I am going to uh, let you go. I've got a couple feedings and things that I want to do just for the little little babies. The mirrors are great. Thank you, Cindy W. They're hilarious. Oh, thanks, D. I have very good staffing. So, you know what? And I was thinking the other day, I haven't even thanked my staff at my office. Thank you, staff. I've got Kelly, Kells, and Sarah. They are just kicking bum over there. They're doing amazing. So, um, yeah, they're, they're amazing. And they... They are so kind to me and know that this is what I love and they, they give me the passion to do it and continue on. So they're, they're wonderful. They're just so great. So hi, Ben. So the mirrors are amazing, aren't they? Oh my gosh. Have you guys checked out the one in Cabana? We put one where you could see right straight ahead with the Cabana. So hopefully that worked out well. But all right. Yes, I'm going to go home actually in a minute. Um, oh, look, they're who is that? That's Nyota. Nyota's looking in the mirror. Can you see her? She's not looking now. She was, but Egypt was being a stinker. Yes. Egypt, come here, baby. He's like, Nyota, you don't need a mirror. I've always thought you were beautiful. Oh, he's giving her the little floofy tail. Oh my gosh. Absolutely. He's trying to get her to play. Oh, I'm sure. She's not having any of that. <laughs> yeah, those mirrors are great. Yeah, this this is a great job. It's just still learning, you know, it's pretty amazing. Um I learned I need to learn to say no because you know, we can't take in every single one. Um but uh you know, we're uh we're getting there, so, yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna let you know. go. I actually have a couple calls. So. It's okay, Nyota. Okay, well, I'm gonna get going so I can, sorry, I'm trying to do too many things at once. I actually have a, a work call I need to take. So um, I'm going to take that real quick and do a couple meds and get the heck out of here and see my family, see my doggies. They miss their mama. They're doing okay. <laughs> Fear not. My dogs are okay. Their daddy's home full time now and they are just loving it. Love, love, loving it. Thank you guys.